Welcome back. Time for your Smart Money Minute. This holiday season, do not let the Grinch steal any of your holiday fun. Our friend Andy Mattingly is here to help keep all of us safe from scams and frauds this time of year. Andy, thank you for joining us. It's great to be here. Yes, this is such a joyous time of year, but you're right. Unfortunately, this is also something we need to keep an eye on. So what are the most concerning frauds during the holidays? You know, the kind of some of the most concerning ones are going to be that you get a notice that, hey, you have a package coming and it's delayed, you need to do something or some big order, yeah. all those kind of fake things. The other thing is there's, you know, there's always hard to find gifts and all of a sudden someone can get you that great gift, you know, at really cheap. So those are all things you kind of need to look out for, those types of things. Yes, just take a moment of pause. Maybe yes. think if something seems a little yeah. off or too good yeah. to be true. Now, what about when it comes to charities? Because I know this is also a time of year where people want to get to a good cause. Yeah, you know, because we all want to do that. And what happens is the fraudsters realize that. And so they set up fake sites. They have professional sites. Oh, wow. They'll look a lot like the other charity. Yeah. Or maybe it's a GoFundMe with this heart-wrenching story. But you need to check all of those things out because they're really good at making it look like it's an actual charity. Mm. And like you said, it might be close to something that already exists. Exactly. To make it confusing. Exactly. Exactly. So exactly. double check, really take a look at that. That's another really good one. Yeah. Would you say there are any other concerns that are unique to the holidays? Yeah, you know, package theft is one of the big ones. Because yeah. we're all gone, you've got the school parties to go to and your old parties go to and work yeah. parties and packages get delivered and you don't get them picked up right away. So that's a big one. The other thing is just if you're out shopping more and more, you know, there's still people that are trying to break into your car, mm -hmm. get those kind of things or look to see if you even forgot to lock your car door. So those are all things you need to that are unique to this time of year, especially the last, you know, 10 days or so. That is so true. And some of those simple reminders, even about keeping stuff under your car, it's, exactly. it's a good reminder. Exactly. So any last words on how you would say we could protect ourselves from frauds and scams, all the above? You know, I think the big thing is just to be aware of all the things that are out there. Yeah. Make sure that you always, you can be trustworthy, you know, you can trust people, but make sure you verify it. Mm -hmm. You know, things with packages, have them all delivered on the same day or on a day when you, or to a secure place. You know, you can maybe have it delivered to work as long as you trust your coworkers. Right. Right. <laughs> um, but so things like that. And then also be careful how you pay with people paying with Venmo and um, Apple Cash and yeah. Zelle. You want to be careful who you're paying because you have no way to get it back. So if you use your credit card, Ooh, debit card, yeah. you can get it back if you actually end up on a fraudulent site. So I think those are the most important things. Mm -hmm. Kind of that awareness and then just making sure if something's too good to be true, just walk away. That's always good advice. Yes. Andy, thank you so much. It's a very important reminder on the holidays and Andy always has free financial advice. So if you'd like to learn more, we have forums website right there at the bottom of the screen. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks, Andy.